Hello there, Berry Bunch. Today, I'm going to read a story to you by Todd Parr entitled, It's Okay to Be Different. Oh, I love Todd Parr's books. As a matter of fact, he is the author of more than 40 books for children, as well as the Emmy-nominated animated television show, Todd World. He lives in Berkeley, California. And guess what? He is the New York Times best-selling author, too. Remember, if someone is a New York Times best-selling author, that means a lot of people love their book. Yeah, or books. Hmm. Other books by Todd Parr, T-O-D-D-P-A-R-R. -R. The I Love You book, that's one of my favorites, too. Reading Makes You Feel Good. The Mommy Book, The Daddy Book, The Grandma Book, The Grandpa Book, The Family Book, We Belong Together Book, and The Feel Good Book, and many more. A complete list of all of Todd's titles and more information can be found at toddparr.com, T-O-D-D-P-A-R-R.com. And now for his book. It's okay to be different, and like I always do, I will read the page, and I'll show you the picture after. Ready? It's okay to be different. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. It's okay to need some help. It's okay to have a different nose. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay to be a different color. It's okay to have no hair. It's okay to have big ears and it's okay to have wheels, yeah. It's okay to be small, medium, large, and even extra large, that's okay. It's okay to wear glasses. When I was younger, people called me four eyes, but I said, the better to see you with, my dear. It did make me sad, but my dad told me to say, the better to see you with, my dear. And that helped me out a whole lot. It's okay to talk about your feelings, Please talk about your feelings. Do not hurt anyone when you're feeling a certain way. If you're upset, say, I'm upset. If you're happy, say, I'm happy. If you're angry, say, I'm angry. If you're mad, say, I'm mad. If you're sad, say, I'm sad. So please, it's okay to talk about your feelings. It's okay. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Not. Just kidding. It's okay to say no to bad things. Please say no to bad things. Say no when someone does not touch you the right way. Say no when someone doesn't say the right things. Say no to someone when they offer you things that are not good, that are not good for you. And I'm not talking about vegetables that your mommy offers you. Those are good for you. I mean things that are really, really bad that will make you sick. Say no to bad things. It's okay to come from a different place. And it's okay to be embarrassed. It's okay to come in last. Mm -hmm. At least you finished, right? Right. It's okay to dance by yourself. I love dancing by myself. I do it all the time. I love dancing by myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love. Oh, sorry. I digressed and got lost in my fun. I do that sometimes. Back to the story. It's okay to have a pet worm. When I was growing up, believe it or not, I don't know whether to tell you this, but some of us had pet rocks. Can you believe that? It's okay to be proud of yourself. Yeah. 
If anyone should be proud of you, it's you. You should always feel proud of what you do as long as you've done your best. That's worth being proud of, right? I think so. It's okay to have different moms. It's okay to have different dads. It's okay to be adopted. You know why? At least you are loved very, very much. That's why. It's okay to have an invisible friend. I had an invisible friend. When we traveled a lot, remember I told you when my dad was in the military, we traveled a whole lot. Sometimes I would be so sad because I would miss my friends at the other base or wherever we came from that I would talk to my imaginary friends, mainly a doll or a stuffed animal, but they were still imaginary. They couldn't talk back and that was okay with me. It's okay to do something nice for someone, please. Simple acts of kindness are very, very needed when someone is sad. You don't know why people are sad. You don't know why people are going through what they're going through, but do a little bit of act of kindness, a small, simple act of kindness, or do some love in action. Yeah, that's what I say. It's okay to lose your mittens. It's okay to get mad. Guess what though? Do not touch anyone when you're mad. Do not hit anyone when you're mad. Don't do those things, those are not nice. When you're mad, punch a pillow. When you're mad, squish a soft ball. When you're mad, you can go, Arr! not too loud, you'll hurt your mommy, daddy's, or your friend's ears. Even when you're mad, even when you're most, 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 most bad, angry, all that other stuff, like you had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, you can even blow out your fingers like they're candles, like this. Go slower. Or you could even count to 10 backwards. By the time you get to one, your mad is over like this. And you can close your eyes too. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And your mad might be gone away. I don't know. Try it. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. That's okay. It really is okay. I don't think he'll let you do it, but it's a good thought. I don't think he let you help him. It's okay to have different friends. Please have different friends. Friends who look different than you do, friends who have different interests than you do, friends who believe differently than you do, friends who have a different skin color than you do. That's what makes the nation a wonderful place. I call it a tossed salad. Yeah, it's a melting pot, but it's also a tossed salad. Because when you have a tossed salad, you still keep those vegetables intact, meaning you don't try to change your friends. They're your friends because they're special and they're different. And it's okay to be different. Remember? Yeah. It's okay to make a wish. Mm-hmm. I gotta tell you a secret. I have a friend who lives in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna visit her in Orlando, Florida. I don't know when, but I am. And she's gonna take me to Disneyland and Universal Studios and places like that. So I hope she's not listening. I really do, but she's gonna take me there when I go to Orlando, Florida. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Thank you. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Love, Todd the author of this book, Todd Parr. I always tell you something about myself, right? Well, like I told you before, my dad was in the military for 30 years. And when I was younger, 
The schools we went to, the neighborhoods we lived in, they were integrated. What that means is all people of all races lived together. Yes. And that was around 1970, the latter part of 1960. Yeah, those were some tough times for integration. But it was okay for me. Most of the time, I was the only one that had brown skin in my class. And yeah, I got called a lot of names. I wouldn't cry in their faces, but I would go home and cry. And my dad said, you are beautiful. You are beautiful and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. My mom would say, you are pretty, you have pretty skin. My sisters would say it, my mother would say it, my grandmother, everyone that loved me and my family would say it. It wouldn't take away the sad, but it did make me feel better when I came home. And of course, I got over it because here I am now. I knew a little boy who's different and I love his difference. He would come to school, wow, almost every day in kindergarten with his rubber boots. Yeah, he wore rubber boots. It didn't bother him if someone said, why do you have those boots on? He would say, I like my boots and good for him because his boots weren't bothering anyone else. His mom loved him enough for him to wear and let him wear his rubber boots. It's okay. And then one day he got glasses. Yeah, he got these beautiful glasses. And he loved his glasses so much, he touched them, he moved them, he took them off. And I had to tell him, do not touch the glasses. He said, but they feel different. Yeah, because you haven't had them before. Do not touch your glasses. And then when he realized he needed his glasses to see, he was okay. He stopped touching them. I even know a beautiful little girl who has beautiful bows in her hair, and she loved a lot of things that were pink. She liked pinkalicious balloons, pinkalicious bows, pinkalicious bubblegum, pinkalicious stars, pinkalicious happy faces, pinkalicious cups, and that's okay because pinkalicious was her difference, and it's okay to have a favorite color. It really is. I even know a little boy who had these beautiful haze, who has not had, they're still there, who has a family where everyone in his family kind of had something different. He had light skin, hazel eyes, a round, beautiful face, and he smiled a lot. He had a sister who had really light skin, sandy, blonde hair, and she was so beautiful and brilliant, and she loved her brother very much. She would always walk with him home from school. And then they had another brother. His skin was brown like mine, and they all looked just alike. They all look alike, but they were all different. And that's how it should be. It's okay to be different because we are different. And that's what's so wonderful about our nation and our world today. But we have to learn how to respect people being different. Just because you're not like me and I'm not like you, that's okay. Please treat others the way you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. I even wrote a song for you that I'm sure you will like because it talks about how I love you just the way you are. You want to hear it? I'm ready. I love you, I love you, I love you because you're you. So please become the very best, only you. You know why? That's why I love you. Until next time, bye-bye very much.